All, All right, right, guys. What's up, gamers? Hey, guys. Did you miss me? Yep, Jose is back for Yep. uh, Silent Hill 2. Yep, after after a long agonizing uh well actually it's it's already it uh it has already passed a few weeks since I had a long agonizing pain. Yeah, let's just say Jose was sick. <laughs> Yes, well well not severely sick, but I would have been severely sick. Yeah. But hey, I was just saying. Oh, nice! You're streaming again. <laughs> that I just, you didn't even change the stream title. It still says "Real Scene of Black Knight." Oh, hold up. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, guys. Let me just. Yeah, yeah, guys. Totally, the Black Knight is in Silent Hill too. He's the true secret final boss. Like, Oh, like, like screw, screw Pyramid Head. You just, you just go around the corner and then you just hear his theme song. Burn. <laughs> Burn. yeah. <laughs> oh my god. But I mean, yeah, I, I honestly should have changed my title. yeah, it's fine. You were kind of in a rush anyway. <laughs> oh, the... But yeah, um, I don't know anything about Silent Hill 2. I argue I know less about it than Silent Hill 1. I mean, the only thing I know is that uh, the ports suck, it's getting a remake, and Pyramid Head, uh, Funi Antagonist. That's the only thing I know about Silent Hill 2. Well, trust me. I I know <laughs> about Pyramid Head as well. James, honey. Did But, anything uh, happen? yeah, so anyways, let's get started by pressing the A button, also known as the X button. Or the So, A or the A button on my on my controller. oh yeah, it looks like there <laughs> is some difficulties that we can choose. yeah, so you can play you can actually change the action level and the riddle level. Although to be honest, I'm probably just gonna play normal for both. Uh even though I suck at riddles, so I might end up just having to look them up anyways. <laughs> Since I am a big, since I haven't even played Silent Hill that much, so I'm just gonna go for a beginner, anyways. Yeah, I'll just do normal and normal. But Hopefully hey, I won't this get my ass kicked. this is just my play style, so anyways. Yeah, we'll see. Alright, noop, we got a funny cutscene. Actually, I wouldn't say it's funny. Well, that's one way to start like this. Well, that's it, huh? Oh god, there, we're, there's, we're still using tank controls? Yep, we are. Oh boy. Just try to get used to it. Well, it is gonna take a sec to get used to. Okay, so what, what button does what? How do I open doors? Oh, triangle? Oh wait, that's the map button. I don't have a map of this area. <laughs> So what can I do? We have photo of Mary and letter from Mary. Looks like I can't use that here. Dang it. <laughs> Am I supposed to go over here? Oh, there's a secret door. <laughs> Apparently. Well, I'm just hoping one of us doesn't fall too far behind, because that'll suck. Oh, it will stink. I see that town. Silent Hill. Is the audio good, guys? Is it not too quiet? I promised you'd take me there again someday. Hopefully it's not quiet on my end. But you never did. I think we can up it a bit. 
Okay. I'm alone there now. In our special place. Well, already this uh, this has star started off into a really mellow mood. Yeah, not what I expected. I got a letter. In my restless dreams. The name on the envelope said Mary. My wife's name. It's ridiculous. Couldn't possibly be true. That's what I keep telling myself. A dead person can't write a letter. Mary died of that damn disease three years ago. So then, why am I looking for her? Our special place. What could she mean? This whole town was our special place. Does she mean the park on the lake? We spent the whole day there. Just the two of us, staring at the water. Could Mary really be there? Is she really alive? Waiting for me? Damn bro, I just started the game, why is it so sad already? <laughs> I like the uh I like the stock image background though. That's kind of funny. What makes you say that? Like the um the background just looks like a stock image as the skybox. <laughs> and I I need to remember like what I buns I used to interact with stuff. Well Well Jacob, that's uh That's fog for you. Waiting for Screen. Oh yeah, button config. Let me see what each button does. Okay, so... Um... Okay, so we got cancel, skip, pause. Pause is select for some reason. Um... Step right. Oh, we have strafing? Okay. Action is X. Running and guarding is square. Search view is L2. Item is also select. Light is circle. Aim is R2. Map is triangle. Restore R3. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> Let me get out of that then. Yeah, we're playing Silent Mountain Part 2. <laughs> And I gotta get used to the to the tank controls again. Oh, look, a map. Got a map of Silent Hill. So, all right, let's see what we'll see how bad the map is in this game. Uh, let's see, we got Observation Deck, Pleasant River, um, some street names. Intr okay. Hopefully, that, all, all I'm hoping for with this game is that I don't get lost in it for two hours like I did in the first Silent Hill, because that was not fun. <laughs> Honestly, I just got used to, like I said, I just got used to the tank controls eventually. Okay, I am I am getting used to it. Like, okay, so for the record, guys, I'm holding up here, and that's allowing me to run forward. But it looks like I'm running left, but in actuality, I'm holding forward, <laughs> which is really confusing. It really is confusing, but... Oh well, what can you do? Yeah, alright, what do we have over here? I can't go further, any further by car. I'm just waiting for, like, the, the hell spawn enemies to start showing up. But I don't think that's gonna happen for a little while. The whole... Oh yeah, and Jacob, just just to remind you something. What? There's gonna be a lot of depressing themes in this game. Mm. Like a whole ton of depressing themes that that uh hmm well well might as well be disturbing. 
I mean, I'll take I'll take uh, you know sad themes over scary themes any day, really. Yeah, because because this game is meant to be a psychological horror game rather than jump scares. Like that's literally the entire point of Silent Hill. Oh, dude, I changed the view with R two. Let's go. So, hang on. Yeah, let me, what did I do? So it looks like if you want a slightly better camera, sometimes pressing R2 will help. That's good to know. Or, uh, well, you gotta hold it, but yeah. Is my is my guy tired already? <laughs> well, it sure seems like it. Oh, you can look at the map from the menu, too. Let's see, Zeppi says, this game will not be a morbid experience, mine is a pussy when it comes to scary games. I mean, I play, I've played some scary games. Oh, I found a... Oh, nice, I found a friggin' save file. Cool. Really? Where's the save file at? At the well. There's a well? <laughs> yeah. You just gotta find it. You just gotta find a specific well. Oh, are you talking about this well? Yeah. And there's supposed to be like a some kind of red paper or something. Looking at this makes me feel like someone's groping around inside my skull. It gives me a weird feeling. What makes oh. you say that? Oh, bro, that, that this this save screen goes hard. What the hell? <laughs> Look at him. He's just staring at you. Safe well, possible. Also, guys, is the bright? Did I did I put the brightness too high, or is the is the brightness okay? Okay, so there we go. Oh, it's L two to change the camera. Okay, not R two. All right, we got a graveyard here. Yep, there's a graveyard. I may have to get up at one point to get a drink, but I still have a bit of juice left. Excuse me, I... <gasps> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I oh, was just... Oh, it's okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. Lost? Yeah. I'm looking for Silent Hill. Is this the right way? Oh, that was a very jarring oh, transition. Yeah. It's hard to see with this. Why is it a jarring transition? It just went from FMV to PS2 models in like a split second. <laughs> but Yes. Doesn't that usually happen with PS2 games a lot? I think not that often. This this town. So you're saying it's like a rare case? I don't think that ever happened in the first Silent Hill. <laughs> Is it dangerous? No, it doesn't even happen. Is it? And it's not just the fog either. Okay, it's... I got it. I'll be careful. I'm not lying. No, I believe you. It's just, I guess I really don't care if it's dangerous or not. I'm going to town either way. But why? I'm looking for someone. Who, who, who is it? Someone very important to me. I'd do anything if I could be with her again. Me too. I'm looking for my mama. I, I mean my mother. It's been so long since I've seen her. I thought my father and brother were here, but I can't find them either. I'm sorry. It's not your no, problem. I, I hope you find them. Yeah, you too. Well, it looks like, uh, 
it looks like uh, good old Leon Kennedy over here has a, uh, you know, someone he can relate with. <laughs> what makes you say that? Because uh, she's also looking for someone. I see. Isn't this the way I came from? Or is this a? Uh... Oh, we got a gate. That's right. Nope, this is where I came from. God damn it. Already went the wrong way. <laughs> That's gonna be happening a lot, man. It's kinda hard to see with all this damn fog. We're just gonna be lost. I mean, hopefully not as lost as the first Silent Hill, though. Yeah, hopefully not. I'm just gonna follow the uh, the walls and see where that takes me. Well, hopefully it leads you to the to the right path. Hopefully, there's nothing I'm missing in the graveyard. Nah, it's probably nothing. This looks uh, new, I think. <laughs> You know, I just like the fact that this game has music than the last one. There... I guess there wasn't that much music in the last game. Yeah. In the last game, it was just dead silent. Silent Hill Ranch. Can I... can I not go in there? I mean, honestly, I could understand why. Since they just want to amp up the atmosphere. Yeah, they want a better mood. Honestly, it does fit the mood quite well. See, that's my see, that's my biggest fear when I play games like this is when I'm I'm more afraid of missing something important in the game itself, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Yeah, I get you. Okay, but I think I'm I think I'm going the right way because I uh, I'm seeing like some trucks and stuff. Yeah, same. <laughs> oh yeah, and Jacob, I'm actually aware of what happened with Ryu Jinx. Yeah, it, it really sucks. Another another doubly or not W another L for Nintendo this year. Well, you know what, Jacob? It doesn't even matter. We. We can literally get Ryu Jinx from other people anyways. I mean, I already have it, so I'm, it's not a big loss for me, really. Like, I'm sure that there are people that has friends that do have Ryu Jinx. Yep. Friends like you have it. I mean, I personally still think Yuzu runs better. <laughs> But, I mean, Ryujinx is a nice alternative if it doesn't work on Yuzu or something. Oh, yeah, true. Guess I'm just, uh... Guess I'm just going on this road by myself. <laughs> well, it's a long road anyways. Danger, keep out. Don't tell me what to do, game. No, I can't well, go in there. Well, sometimes games can give you good advice. <laughs> Silent Hill with music doesn't make sense. You're right, it doesn't make sense. It's a very moody game, so it's not supposed to. Well... Well, games like these has to explore some new themes to it. Where am I now? It looks like I am on a street. I'm on uh, Sanders Street. Colonel Sanders has his own street. Hell yeah. Oh, cool. That is pretty neat. And I've already hit a dead end. Well... I obviously need to get the hang of, um, you know, the the town, obviously. It's, oh, a first aid kit. Perfect. 
Well, it looks like you found one. Cool. A yeah. uh, flower shop, which I can't go in. Celebrating 70 years. Of what? Of the flower shop, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Just the flower shop? Yep. They love their flowers. Well, I know someone who loves flowers. Uh, is it Aerith? <laughs> yeah. I saw that I one pretty... coming. Yeah, it was pretty obvious. Oh man, the fog is just as bad as it was in the first game. Well, you can tell that to... This marks free... blood. To freaking Persona 4. Yep. Because that game is just known for its fog. That shadow just now. Literally the funny thing is that in the last few moments of Persona 4 it just went dead on Silent Hill. That's the thing I like about the end of Persona 4 is um, just the fact that uh, you know the end game is actually quite ominous. It takes itself really seriously. Yeah. I will say that. I think I think the reason why it stands out so much is because Persona 4 is so lighthearted compared to the other games, so that when it does get serious, it just kind of stands out more. No, it does. I just like the last moments being good. Even though I, I still argue Persona 4 is my least favorite Persona game. I mean, it's good, it just doesn't compare to all the others. <laughs> uh, that I, game will I, always... Even though that game here? will always have a special place in my heart... <laughs> I just know that... That there are other Persona games that does a better job than it, like... Persona 5, for example. Ooh, a health drink. Persona 5 will always be amazing. Well, at least to me. Yeah, I like me some Persona 5. Alright, so so far I have two healing items and no guns. You know, the funny thing is that whenever I think of uh, Persona 5 Royal, it just feels like I'm getting downloadable content from Vanilla Persona 5. Ew, Vanilla Persona 5. Like, literally the point of Persona 5 Royal is that it's just an expansion pack. Of the original. Yeah, but I shouldn't have to pay like 90 bucks for it. Yeah, because what's even the point of getting a game that isn't even finished just yet? Yeah. Like, like literally, Atlas has a problem with releasing games. Now, like, that's something that we should already realize. Like, just come to the realization that they have issues of releasing games. Yeah, come that aren't on, even... Fatless. <laughs> that aren't even completely finished. Like, oh, like I just really hope that Persona 3 Reload doesn't get the same treatment. Like, if it does, I would just be disappointed. Uh oh, something bad is happening. There's the blood. Oh god. Bro's uh <laughs> try try to stay away from the, the brownie man. A shadow just now. Did I forget I forgot how to attack. Hold on. Wait, how, how the fuck do I use my... How the fuck do I use my weapon? Do you even got a weapon? I do. I have, um... I have, a like, a crowbar. But I don't know how to freaking use it. I don't even have a weapon. A wooden plank. Not very powerful, but easy to use. Yeah, easy to use, you say. What button is it to freaking swing the weapon? Um... 
aim uh, action. Is it is it just the X button? Let's, let's try it. Let's try that out. Ah, oh, okay, there we go. Dead? What the hell is it? It's not human. <laughs> you, yeah, bro was just standing there. That, that guy didn't bother attacking me. He was just like freaking out. Okay, so now I'm now I know how to attack. You have to hold R2 and then press A slash X. Depending on what controller you use. Which uh, yeah, that's that's uh gotta gotta get used to that. Come on, guys. The only thing is that I haven't even found items just yet. Well, there oh. is there is a health kit and two health drinks in town, so if you can find those, that'll be good. Well, oh, yeah. seems like can't even can't even find one. Great. This thing broken. My transceiver's broken. I better take I'm just running all over town. Well, if you find like a, a gingerbread man trying to get away, uh, yeah, just go after him. Okay. Ooh, ooh, and I got bloody footsteps now. Yeah, that is a cool attention to detail, though. Well, oh, that's PlayStation for you. Oh, yeah, I'll give you a little tip, Jose. If you hold L2 at all times, um, the camera will always follow your character from behind. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Also, I found a health drink. Are you at the, uh, are you at the table with the red paper on it? Not yet. Oh. That, well, I don't know which health drink you found, because th there's a table with a red paper, and there'll be two drinks in there. So... I did find a health drink somewhere in the garage or something. Well, I mean, outside of the door of the garage. Oh, I think I found it. I think I found the one you were talking about. I see. Oh, we got more, uh, we got more gingerbread men. Alright, now I'm going to the place where there is a table. Alright, how am I doing? Okay, my my found... status is blue. I found another health drink. Well, at this point, you don't want to unequip the wooden plank. Okay, well, uh, I'm getting the use. I'm getting used to the combat. Okay. Well, I found a. Oh, I found another health drink that's near the table. Yeah, there you go. What does this say? The friction is so unrealistic. Something is written on it. Too bad I can't read it because the surface has been rubbed away. Remains of swamp. The Urs. Yeah, it was, it was probably uh, N I G G. <laughs> of land, Surround is monument, was originally swamp, but was later fill. Frung ago, Tiz nicknamed Blood Swamp because the N I G G Urs poured the Watt said to wash the Exoles in here. <laughs> yeah, you gotta do a command input. Perhaps it's faux hat, many pem to have s, and the area. So can I go? Can I go in the random houses like in Silent Hill one? Because that was pretty food me. I think you can, actually. Hmm. So far, it doesn't look like that though. <laughs> We will get to it eventually. 
Then I'm just going what looks like the sewers. Stay dead, bro. Okay, he's he's dead. Hmm. Ooh, another health drink. Now we're just getting all of them, all the health. Holy shit! What? Okay, now I got something to fight. Now die. Don't mind me. Just, just, just killing gingerbread men. <laughs> well, I killed the very first gingerbread men. <laughs> That's just what we're calling them. I don't know what the fuck they're supposed to be. They look like gingerbread men. Well, it's obvious that they're not human. I mean, gingerbread men aren't human. Yeah, they're just cookies. <laughs> they're cookie. We're killing cookies with with the frickin' wood plank. And I have a wood plank as my first weapon. But it's, it's not it's not a great one, but yeah. Yeah, it's not an ideal one either. I mean, generally, you don't really want to kill enemies in this game because you don't get anything for doing it. Well, it is a survival horror game after all. Yeah. Like, killing things isn't really... You're not really meant to kill things unless you have to. It's basically similar to any stealth game we can think of. Yeah. Like Middle Gear Solid, for example. Yep, good old MGS2. And I still can't go in the damn flower shop. So... Where can I go? Um... It looks like I can go... Okay, so I'm... I gotta figure out which way I'm facing. So if I head down this way, I can go down Sanders Street. At least I'm supposed to be able to. Alright, well, if there's one thing that hasn't changed about Silent Hill 1, it's me, um, looking at the map constantly to figure out where the frick I'm supposed to go. <laughs> yep, that's, that's Silent Hill for you. I mean, that's pretty much the point, I guess. Yep, that hasn't changed. Like, literally the sequels are supposed to be better than the first one. I mean, it seems a little better. Since it, considering it's PS2, it is meant to be. Yeah. Okay, so this, this place, I think I can go. So we have a, we have a restaurant. Can I go in the restaurant? No, but there's a health drink here. It's always good to have health drinks. Yep. Happy Burger. Ooh, there's a first aid kit on the ground. Oh, the gingerbread man wants to come to the restaurant with me. Oh, I can't go in the burger shop? This blows. Yeah, that's just baloney. 99 cents for a burger. Oh boy, how times have changed. <laughs> that's like five bucks for a burger. Remember when burgers used to be cheap? Yep. Now they're not cheap. I feel like I feel like the the companies are just taking advantage over inflation. Yeah, how could they? Yeah, for example, I'm I'm looking at you, Sony. <laughs> Yeah, because you know what Sony's doing right now. Sony's being Sony and charging 700 bucks for a PS5. They are literally taking advantage over inflation. They are taking advantage of inflation. They yeah. know. They know what's worse, Jacob. What? 
We are getting to the 25th anniversary of PlayStation. Dang, really? Yeah, it's, yeah, we're getting close to the 25th anniversary of PlayStation. Or at least, I think, the 35th. Huh, I found uh, I found a truck. Let's see. But yeah, we're having oh, we another anniversary for, for PlayStation, and PlayStation is just releasing their limited time offer, uh, PS One looking uh, reskin for the PS Five. Considering the fact that we're not going to get backwards compatibility, Dang it, from no that back no backwards compatibility. Yep, none. <laughs> I'll wait it at bar. Nice. I'll wait at bar Neely's. Also, hold on. Let me um, let me put the chat. Let me put the chat right here because it's because I'm gonna be cropping this later for the YouTube upload. So I'm gonna put it there so that people can. And honestly, read the it chat. would be nice if we do get backwards compatibility again. <laughs> yep. But uh, you know, in true Shrek fashion, like that's ever gonna happen <laughs> wherever that is. Well, that's oh, ever gonna happen. <laughs> Gonna Oops. I, I, I fucking hate when it keeps coming out of my TV for no reason. Why does it keep doing that? What makes you say that? Alright, in true Shrek fashion. Like that's ever gonna happen. Alright, we have the radio. Oh, the radio from the first game is here. A mess of static when monsters are nearby. Nice. I'd argue the static, though, it isn't as creepy as the first game. It's just kind of, you know, like, oh, yeah, it's louder. Well, it, it's not more... everything. Well, not everything necessarily has to be creepy. Yeah, I mean, I thought, I thought Silent Hill 2 was going to be, like, the scariest fucking game ever. And so far, it's, it's not really that scary. It's just like, yeah. There's gingerbread men running around a foggy street. <laughs> like I said, it's not meant to be like this. Like, they're just taking on a different take on on the series. Yeah. Okay, so it says to meet up at Neely's Bar. And all I can say is that the unsettling atmosphere is still there. Yeah, it's definitely got some spooky vibes. Is this yep. the bar right here? I just prefer things to be unsettling anyways. I I went past it, I think. I wouldn't think I went past the bar. Found it! Oh, here we go. Now, yeah. What else do I need? Yeah, this place definitely really doesn't look unsettling. Oh yeah, why not? <laughs> Sarcasm. What the hell? What are all these? What are these black markings? Okay. Uh, I see a secret pathway. What's that symbol at the end of Martin Street? Where's Martin Street? I'm trying to look. Oh yeah, I just I'm noticing that there is a question mark there, for some reason. And also Woodside Apartment. I guess that's everything in here. There's no, there's no uh, hydro in this place. <laughs> no hydro? I mean, I guess to be fair, I wouldn't expect there to be. Okay, so now we gotta oh, go cool. to. Um, I found a key. A key. I don't know what kind of key you found. I haven't found shit yet. Well, you'd be surprised. I mean, I see, I, I, mean I see I see more gingerbread men. Yep. Alright. 
Here's Martin Street. Huh, it looks like I I can go inside buildings. Some. You can go in some of the ones that I want you to. Alright, it looks like I went to a building. Okay, I think I, I think I understand what it wants me to do here. So, have you found a building to enter? Yeah, well, it wants me to go in an apartment. Can I go in this building? Oh, I found the apartment. No. No apartment. <laughs> well, I know where I, I know where the apartment is. I know where it's marked on my map. Oh, hello, gingerbread man. And I found the map of the apartment. Nice. Yeah, it's not too far. Well, I kind of want to explore a little bit and see if I can find some extra drinks, maybe. Even though I know I don't really need them. Oh, I found a few more. Okay, I know there. I know there's an apartment there, but I want to check down this street and see if there's anything here. Usually, usually the drinks will be like on the side. Freaking gingerbread men. All right, everything looks green right now. The funny thing is that I have tested out using my health drink. And it looks like the status looks completely different from the last time. Because usually... Usually my character is supposed to, you know... Flash green, so... To let me know that... That I am feeling well. It looks like in this game, he's blue. My Why? Well, my status is blue, which I'm assuming means it's good. It seems that way. Yeah. So, blue is best, green is good, I'm guessing red is the worst. Yeah, I guess so. Well, I'm glad I, I'm glad I went to search around, because I found, um... I found a, uh, med kit. Alright, now... I found another door. Hmm. And surprise, surprise, there's no music right now. Yeah, big surprise. Honestly, I think it should stay that way. Yeah, you're right, there is no music. Camera thing doesn't work here either. Yeah, I, mean, I can see why people like this game. So it's it's, uh, yeah. it's it's basically got you know it's Silent Hill one vibes, but you know it's on the PS2. Yep, it's PS2. Looks like I have to find a flashlight. Garbage. No use for that. Oh yeah, I was in the right direction. Yeah, it looks like I'm a little behind, but that's okay. I mean, I was planning okay. on I was planning on getting it uh, going to take a piss anyway, so I'll be right okay, back. That... Okay, that surprised me. That actually surprised me. I wasn't even expecting a gingerbread to surprise me. Literally when I was getting when I was getting the flashlight, literally I heard the screams of the gingerbread. But yeah. Long story short, I found the flashlight. Hmm. Now, where should I go?
Hmm. Well, looks like I got everything that I need so far. All right, I'm back. Where have you been? Uh, I went to get a drink as well. Oh, makes sense. I thought my internet was cut off. No, it's fine. Oh, okay. But yeah, like I said, the gingerbread actually did surprise me. <laughs> I got a map. While I, was in, while I was in search for a flashlight. There's, there's a gingerbread man that pops out of nowhere? Yeah. Hmm. I mean, yeah. Gingerbread men love to mess around. Yeah, true. They're probably just jealous because it's not Christmas yet. <laughs> they're jealous that they're stuck in a Halloween game instead. Well, it is a perfect time for it to be a Halloween game, so... Yep. There's a trash chute. There's some kind of strange garbage stuck in the hole. Um, guessing, I'm guessing that's important for something. Could be. There's a lock. Oh, well, hello, gingerbread men. I mean, honestly, no. honestly, though, I'm, maybe I should put the, um, I don't know if you can change the difficulty from here. I don't think you can, like, switch difficulties mid-playthrough, right? I don't think so. Well, I would probably lower the combat difficulty, because usually combat is, like, not really the main focus of the Silent Hill games anyway. It really shouldn't. Yeah. Because, like, it, really all that the, the, the combat difficulty does is just make the enemies more bullet sponges, which are, is not really fun. <laughs> it's not really, uh, like... But their attacks do get strong. I mean, like, sure. Yeah. Like, it does amp up. Like, it does intensifies the moment. I will say that. They make funny. But, they, they they make funny noises. <laughs> yeah, true. Oh, what is that? Nothing that looks useful. Well, just just examine everything, I guess. <laughs> so I guess what? we I guess we made it to our first dungeon of the game. Yeah, we might as well. Hmm. Did I miss anything in there? Yeah, probably not. Let me just double check. Hmm. Um, there's like a closet. Okay, yeah, no, nothing too crazy. If there was something insane, then... Oh well. Can't get the door open. But I can go in here. And I do have a flashlight now, so that's pretty helpful. I already got the flashlight, so I'm just... I'm just moving it up. I'm just moving. I got handgun bullets. Okay. Come on. Okay, this place has already become unsettling. I guess that's good. I guess that's the point. Yeah, it is. How is my status, anyway? I It still says I'm blue. Like, is the status... Is the status menu supposed to get, like... Okay, well, I don't know if it's buggy for me or not. Like, when you open the menu, what what is under, like, the status? Is it just, like, a screenshot of your game? <laughs> 
or what? Because that's what it is for me, and I don't know if that's intentional or not. I think it is intentional. And from what it looks like, um, my status bar is still blue, but I could look it up and just see, you know, like Silent Hill 2 status bar, I don't know, or status screen. Yeah. A shopping cart, what's it doing here? Oh, no, apparently that is a, that apparently, um, what I'm seeing is a bug, actually, I think. Mm. Oh, yeah, and I also found a handgun. Uh, it says less static equals more health. <laughs> Apparently. Okay, that's actually an interesting way to... to show... to show your condition. Let's see, um... Huh, like, the more static you get... The worse your condition gets. It says, apparently, it's not a bug. It depends on how much uh, health you have. Oh. That's actually, honestly, I think that's a really unique way. Oh, okay. Apparently, right? Apparently, in the beta of this game, it used the Silent Hill 1 status, where it's like a picture of your character. And it gets more bloody, but apparently the the screenshot thing is intentional, and apparently it's supposed to like get more staticky the like the worse off you are, which is interesting. Like I said, it's a really unique way to show off your health. Yeah, I mean, or you could just you know, you know how like a lot of modern shooters do it, where like the screen just gets a little more, like more red around the yeah. edges. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's what that reminds me. Okay, so I'm getting handgun bullets, but I haven't found that gun yet, have you? Oh, I already have. Oh, I already have the handgun. It's just that I don't even. I don't even have the. I don't even have the bullets. Wait. So I found the bullets, but not the gun. <laughs> and you found the gun and not the bullets. Yep. What What room did you find the gun in? I probably found. I actually probably found the uh, one place that has the... It's probably one room that has a shopping cart. Okay, look for a shopping cart then. Yep. And somebody just stole my key. Oh no. I haven't found a shopping cart. I'm on, I'm on the second floor right now. And uh, I don't know, I probably just haven't been in all the rooms yet. All right, so where I am right now, I I'm probably in the third floor. Oh, I don't know. I need yeah. to I need to find the uh. Actually, yeah. Did you find the Did you find the gun on the second floor or what? It was on the third floor. Oh, on the third floor. Well, there's bullets on the second floor, so there is that. Okay, where All am right. I? All right. Uh, have not been to two o four yet. But the question is, can I even go in there? Hey, Jacob. What? You should have seen my reaction when I played through Need for Speed. I, I heard it was good. <laughs> trust me, I... Trust me, I literally become a different person when I play <laughs> Need for Speed. That's funny. <laughs> it is. Well, I mean, Zeppi told me all about that, so... I have an idea. Mm hmm? Ooh, this is ominous. Honestly, I like the idea of taking turns. Let's see. Uh, three needles stand at three different heights. The fat, the tall, and the thin. From slow to fast, they move to the right. Scott rests not on three, but fifteen. Uh, sure, I'll take a screenshot of that. Might be helpful. Television... I'm guessing there's going to be a puzzle or something related to that. The lock is broken. Will you push the clock? Yes. But you can't. Now, how hard I push, it doesn't move. It's stuck to the ground. 
Oh, is this what it's talking about? The three needles? Oh shit, I actually do see static. Hmm. The clock is the clock has stopped at 7.52 and 15 seconds. The plate is closed. It's locked. I can't touch the needles of the clock like this. Can I Can I smash it? Nope. <laughs> no. Nope. I at least triggered a cutscene. Holy shit, what happened to the guy? Yeah, you're definitely... Yeah, you're definitely ahead of me, but... I'm I'm kind of taking my time anyway. Well, you know me well. I like to finish games quickly. <laughs> True. Probably should have known that. Come on, you always know that I like to finish games quickly. And the funny thing is that I'm actually do am taking my time finishing Xenosaga Three. Yeah, I like how you take your time finishing that game, but Silent Hill 2 is like, nah, I gotta beat this whole game in like one hour. <laughs> you know, I can't do that. Um, it's, not, it's not possible. I feel the like only I haven't explored taking, everything. The only reason why I'm taking my time uh, finishing Xenosaga 3 is because that, uh, well, I had to limit myself to finish it in one hour. Ah. Yeah. Just needed to finish that game in one hour, just so I can have enough time for other things. Zeppi says, I also finish games quickly. <laughs> I also like to live dangerously. Yeah, I hear gingerbread man. But there's also another gingerbread man over here. The funny thing is that I actually do- that I actually use texture packs for Xenosaga 3. I'm, gu I'm guessing they work pretty well? Oh, they actually do work very well. It honestly looks a lot better. Like, literally- Literally, I actually had to do a lot of tweaking on the graphics because- Because on based, uh... Like, literally from cutscenes to, like, gameplay, everything is not in order. How dare they not be in order? Yeah, so basically I had to mess around with the graphics to see every if everything is working. Considering the fact that Xenosaga is actually one of the biggest uh, size games ever made. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the one that I'm that I'm playing right now actually takes like eight gigabytes. Dang, that's a lot. Oh, it is for a PS2 game. It is. Wanna know why? Why? Because they focus on cutscenes. No, oh, that makes sense. Yeah, it, fa it literally focuses on on cutscenes more than gameplay because literally it feels like I'm watching a really long movie. Hmm. So, how do I get to the third floor from here? That's locked. Yeah. How how did I get how did I, how did I get to the this floor to begin with? Well, here, obviously. But I think this just takes me- I think this just takes me downstairs? Oh wait, no, 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 here we go. Here's the third floor up here. And besides, I actually have another reason why we need to finish this game quickly. In a- in a month. Why? Because we need to finish this game before November rolls around. Oh, well, obviously, but we got all month to do it, it's fine. And daylight savings. You have to remember that there's gonna be another daylight savings in November 3rd. Oh god, not daily savings. Yeah, just be on the lookout for November 3rd. I mean, it probably won't uh, screw me over that much. I really hope so. Because literally, daylight savings is one of the worst things that could ever happen to you. Leon, you dumbass. Damn it. Damn it. Not my key. 
Bro, what, what is what is he thinking? Did you use the fucking plank? Just stick the plank through the frickin' bars. Mid savings on my birthday is crazy. <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah, it's honestly unbelievable that you can have daylight savings on your birthday. I don't I mean that I only have is if your birthday is in November anyway, at the start of November. So like it's literally oh. it's literally unique. That is a like, that is a realistic looking gun. <laughs> Like, it's literally one of the most unique ways to have a birthday. Like... Okay, I guess he doesn't want to pick up the gun. Yeah, you know, the same day as Daylight Savings, that's... That's honestly crazy. What else do we have here? Oh, okay, now you pick up the handgun after noticing the gun marks in the wall? That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Well, this game is real, meant to be realistic, so... Bro, if I saw a gun in a shopping cart, I'd pick up the gun. I wouldn't, like, see, like, huh, a handgun, and then ignore it. <laughs> You'll just pick it up immediately? Yeah. <laughs> why wouldn't- mm -hmm. why wouldn't you pick up the handgun immediately, is what I'm saying. Honestly, I don't know. Okay, so it looks like this is all you can do on the third floor, is just, um, get the gun. Unless there's, like, a fourth staircase. No, I don't think there is. To be fair, um... Oh yeah, you know what I should definitely do? I should definitely save after all that. I can get downstairs. <laughs> well, I mean, this is obviously the kind of game where you can never save too often. Save, like, every time you get the chance. And thank God for save states. Oh, yeah, I mean, or you could use save states, too. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I'm thinking that save states are a much better way to end off the game if you want to leave. Oh, yeah, I do that sometimes. I always do that. Okay, so I think I have an idea of what I need to do now that I have the gun, because I, th I know the clock. There's that clock in that room, and I think I have an idea what I need to do with that clock. And what might that be? Well, I'm assuming you need to shoot at the clock to open the glass. What was that noise? Some kind of noise north of here. Let me go right. in the uh yeah, let me go in the let me go in the clock room. Huh. It's one way to make hallways creepy like this, especially if it's abandoned. Yeah. What the fuck is that thing over there? Well, whatever it is, I can't get to it. Alright, so we're in this room again with the clock. Yeah, I see it. Uh, should I use the health drink? Okay, I see the clock key. Oh, now the drink is green, okay. Or the status is green, good. Alright, I can use it. I wonder what's inside. No? Is that not what you're supposed to do with the clock? Yeah. I have to open the clock key. Well, how do you open the clock? <laughs> By finding the key. There's a key to the clock? Yeah. Where the fuck is the key at, then? <laughs> Well, I'll try to find it. There's supposed to be like, there's supposed to be like this one room where you find a hole that looks green, and uh, and uh, if you stick your hand, that's where you find the clock key. 
a hole, a green hole. I don't think I've seen that. You have to, you have to find a specific room, just to, in order to get it. Like, just find it and then just, then just, well, you know. The only get room, it well, and... the only room I can think of is two ten because that's the only room that's like open. It's literally the only way to progress if you want to find, if you want to find the hole in the wall. All right, I'll go to room 210 then, because that's the only one I think I can go in. It's either there, 205. <laughs> I guess I'll look at that one if I don't find it in here. Uh, well, there's static in here, so maybe this is where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> there was a guy on the floor. Um... This is a bathroom. Hmm. I don't remember if I've looked everywhere in here yet. Oh, so there is a writing on the clock. Um... I don't see a green hole. <laughs> it's very vague. <laughs> well, sometimes it can look red. Hmm. Have I looked everywhere in here? Well, I mean, it says there's something in here. No, this is just the closet. There's nothing in the closet. Honestly, I'm not sure. <laughs> I mean, from what it looks like, there's only like a few different rooms I could go in. Well, I'll keep fucking around. I mean... If I get behind, then whatever. It's not a big deal. Well, yeah, it's not a huge loss. Yeah, not really. Have I been in here already? Um, That's locked. The sewing machine. Yeah, I take it it's not in the sewing room? This is where I found the flashlight. Both of these are are locked. Hmm. How oh, then? Is this is this one of the doors on the map? Yeah, it says it says that door is locked. Ah, weird. Oh nice, I found a health drink. Oh yeah, it's very healthy. Alright, so right now I'm on floor two. Uh, I'm also on floor two, but I'm, I'm a bit lost because I'm trying to figure out where the frickin' he is. I mean, there's only so many places it could be in, I guess. Yeah, there's many possibilities that you have to find. I'm guessing it's, I'm guessing the key itself is on floor two though, right? Yeah. Well, let's try let's try looking back in the clock room again. Alright, now it looks like we can get go. Hmm. Oh, yeah. There's uh, there's this bloody guy in front of the TV. Didn't expect that. Yeah, I just had to. I just had to go back here again. It looks like there's a newspaper wow. here. Ah, oh, there's the key. The key to room two hundred two. See, told you. Oh, there you go. Now we're getting somewhere. 
Oh, okay. I'm not supposed to do that. <laughs> So, 202. Well, at least my status is green. That's good. Yep. Kind so, of find it funny so that we're it? already... I kind of find it funny that we're already used to the tank controls. Yeah, I'm getting used to it all over again. <laughs> it feels like we were playing Silent Hill 1 all over again. Yep. I mean, well, the thing is, I got kind of used to the tank controls anyways, because I played Resident Evil 4, and that also has tank controls. Soon enough, we will get to play Resident Evil. <laughs> Why did I say Resident Evil? I meant to say Silent Hill 3. Oh, yeah. I used the key to room 202. All right. Let's see, what do we have in this, this place? The body of a dead butterfly is off the ground. There's nothing of interest here. Looks like the lock is broken. I like how I have to examine the lock like three different times. The fuck is this freaky music? <laughs> There's nothing inside the cage. Uh, let's see what we got in here. More broken locks. I feel like this is gonna be a, gonna be like some sort of tradition that we're gonna play Silent Hill <laughs> through every October. Yeah, I mean, if you don't want to play, uh, I mean, I mean, what else can we play besides Silent Hill, right? I honestly don't know. Is there anything in this, like, butterfly room? Some people even oh. debate that people prefer Silent Hill 3 over 2. Hmm. <laughs> he's gonna pull out his hand and he just loses his hand. Oh, my hand. My <laughs> hand's gone. The hand is gone. He just rips his hand off. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> Where'd my hand go? It's gone. Oh, I got the clock key. Okay. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, I, you... I'm, I'm kind of thinking I should go to the save point again. Now you've got it. There we go. Yeah, I mean, the save point is like literally right here. I'm going to go down... I'm playing it old school. Alright. I got a new key. There are a lot of keys. Yeah, it's the fire escape key. I like I like these classic Silent Hill dungeons. I mean I mean that's, I mean that's basically what they are. They're basically dungeons. I mean I mean in reality, the Silent Hill dungeons are just go to one room, get a key, go to another room, use the key. But somehow it manages to be really engaging anyway. <laughs> it's a mystery. There's probably gonna be more gingerbread men in the hallway. There or, might. Or not. I mean there is there is um there is like one Silent Hill 2 enemy that I think I know about. What? And I think it's like um it's like a two-headed like baby creature or something. I don't remember if that is in this game, but I heard about it and I think it's a Silent Hill monster. Well, looks like we'll figure out if it's true. Well, why don't you use the key, then? There are scratches on the floor and walls. Looks like something heavy was dragged here. Yeah, you don't say. It's the it's the frickin' clock. Honestly, I was supposed to get a chainsaw. A chainsaw? Yeah, there was actually supposed to be a chainsaw in this game. Oh, and they removed it or something? No, I think it's probably in later 
entries of the game, or at least, or at least it's. It's probably in this game, but it's probably released in different platforms. Hmm. So, well, what am I supposed to do with this clock, exactly? Let me see. Um... Scott rests not on 3, but 15. Is it supposed to be 315, then? No, I think it's 310. 310? No, no, I mean 910. 910? Yeah, they're supposed... If you go to 910, it's supposed to have a click noise. Let's, let's see if that's true or not. Huh. Yeah? Not sure how you're supposed to figure that out, but okay. <laughs> well, I actually did figure it out by myself. Is there something I missed, then? <laughs> yeah, not really. See, that's why, see, that's why maybe I should have put the riddles on easy, because I, I, I didn't fucking get it. <laughs> Okay, so now we're behind the clock. And there is a door here. Apparently, this is 209. And I got a health drink, and there's a save here. Poggers. So I don't know if I don't know I don't know if anybody plays like I do, but I I just like make a shit ton of save slots for no reason. Yeah, that happens to me a lot, especially when I play through Persona Five. I just I just have like twenty different save files. Well, it seems like you do need more save files. Well, I don't know. It's just, you know, every now and then there might be a game where, like, I wish I could go back to a certain save. And, um, you know, that's, uh, it's nice to have that option. And also there's cases where, like, you know, you gotta have to get a secret ending by replaying the whole game. I think I started saving like that because of Neptunia. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Well... It's always nice to hear you say something about Neptunia anyways. Yeah, even if you don't really care for Neptunia much. Okay, let's go down to the second floor. Well... Actually, never mind, I can't. Wait, I mean, I, I, wait, I am on the second floor. What am I saying? We gotta go to the third floor. Well, Jacob, you'd be surprised. Was that handgun bullets? Hell yeah. You never have too many of those. Hopefully I don't miss like a super good weapon like I did in S in SH1. <laughs> where I missed the where I remember when I missed the frickin' rifle? That was embarrassing. Well, at least you find ways to get back up. Since I uh, well, you know, I am very slow at gameplay, anyways. Yeah, like I guess says, when you fall, you get right back up. <laughs> Damn it, I miss playing Persona 3. Yeah, he doesn't say that in Reload, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, she probably doesn't. Damn, you guys- funny... Damn, what are you guys having a fucking orgy over here? And the funny thing <laughs> is that, uh, when- mm, When I check- out the difference between the cutscenes in Persona 3, FES, and Reload, I also did realize that there is major differences between Yukari's dialogue and yep. tone in they, the answer. They made her less spiteful in Reload. Honestly, Jacob, I prefer that uh, Yukari is in distress because literally, literally the situation that everybody's in is literally, literally everybody's in distress. 
to decide what is best. Yeah, which makes sense. All right, so I found um, I don't even know what this guy is. He looks like a uh, conehead. Why? I don't know, I'm calling I'm calling him conehead now. Are you sure that's not Pyramid Head? Maybe it is Pyramid Head. I mean, his head looks like a pyramid. It is Pyramid Head. Oh. I guess that's what he looks like. <laughs> that's what he's supposed to look like. <laughs> I call him Cone Head. <laughs> I mean, that is a good name, Cone Head. <laughs> Okay, well, I mean, they were having a frickin' orgy over here, and, uh, Pyramid Head just, like, destroyed the absolute shit out of those guys. God, he literally freaks me out. <laughs> Can't go in there. Hey, can I go in any of these doors? The lock's broken. Four. <laughs> What good would shooting do? Yeah, I don't know why he bothers shooting at Pyramid Head. Huh. So there, there's like a bunch of doors here. I actually find it funny that you actually did caught me up. Yeah, I didn't expect that. You should be proud of yourself. I mean, I did that... I was like... behind the entire time. Alright, is it worth wasting my bullets on these guys? Probably not, right? No. These guys don't even do anything. <laughs> they really don't. You know, Jacob, the funny thing is that... That, uh, people hated Yukari in the answer. I- I don't hate her. Ow. I'm getting, uh, like she, I'm getting comboed by these guys. Like, she has every reason to be in distress anyways, like I said. Like, they just either oh. want to go to the past or the present. Yeah. And honestly, after, uh, after playing the answer for myself, I think, uh, I think Akihiko is the most, like, reasonable one there. <laughs> Oh, he is. But honestly, I could also understand where Yukari's coming from. Yeah. She is... She is... The only reason why she wants to go back is because that she is really tired of losses. Yeah. And I can see why. Okay, it's a bit staticky now. There we go. I mean, if my screen isn't green, then I... You know, don't want it. <laughs> There's one thing that I wish that could have kept in reload was that one specific scene where Makoto Yuki is disappearing. Yeah, it was fucking brutal. <laughs> I didn't know that was in the game. Oh, it was. Just a normal washing machine. Literally... <laughs> Literally, they were not even afraid to show off. Show off Makoto Yuki being dismembered. <laughs> yeah, bro got fucking evaporated. Yeah, quite literally. Hello. You know, I just feel like... Hello, I feel like the Mr. Gingerbread Man, where are you? You know, I feel like the 2000s were a much different time than what's happening right now. Yeah. Cause right now we're just dealing with dealing with censorship bullshit. Yeah, very sad. Very sad, Marissa. I'm sad. Marissa sad. <laughs> oh, there's a gingerbread man. I always like to say Marissa sad because it's funny. <laughs> yeah, it's very funny. Yeah, very funny. Damn it! He breathed his freaking cinnamon breath all over me. Yeah, that's definitely cinnamon bread. <laughs> cinnamon bread. Yeah. yeah, cinnamon bread breath. Eh, my, my screen's fine.
I although I am curious how staticky it has to get to know that you're almost dead. You'll see eventually. I mean, if I get a game over, then I'll know. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't happen, though. I am never going to get a game over. Well, I'd like to pick up this drink. There we go. So there was a health drink and a med kit. I don't, did I pick up the med kit already? I kind of find it unbelievable that Atlas decided to remake the opening of FES. Yeah, that's pretty banger of them. Honestly, it was really cool. Good on you, Fatless. Rare W from Fatless. If only there was more W's. Did I, go in, did I go in here already? It doesn't look like there's anything in here. There's a broken room that I can't go in. I kind of find it hilarious that chocolate milk will always make you dehydrated, even when cold. <laughs> yeah, pretty shitty. Okay, so that was room 303. Well, Jacob, you make me start to believe that uh, chocolate will always be better as a food. <laughs> I'm just going to save state, just to be on the safe side. Even though I do consider chocolate milk ass food anyways. I mean, it's filling, but I wouldn't really try to use it as like a substitute for food. <laughs> Censorship's for pussies. If you don't like it, don't play the game. See, Zeppy mm -hmm. knows what's up. Right? Okay, now I am on... Uh... Actually, the third, the the floor three is not actually that big. Yeah. I do miss the time where companies become edgy and literally not afraid to show some stuff. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is that's barricaded. Because literally, that's what the two thousand is all about. Even Nintendo was in for it. Yeah, good on you, Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, good on you, Nintendo. Oh, now it's unlocked. Well, look at that. I can actually go outside. Even the so-called family-friendly company has dark moments in the past. All right, real quick, I'm going to be a little bitch and go to the other side of the apartment to save. <laughs> Why? Yeah, you never know. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hey, anyway, you can never you can never save too much. It's well, always a good idea to save. Well, that's what I. Well, let me guess. You're on. Uh, you're on floor one now. Actually, I'm actually outside. Oh. Yeah, I'm outside of the apartment. You unlocked the front door. I'm guessing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I did. I went outside, I went to the opposite side, and then I went to save, like a little bitch. Alright, now I'm gonna go back inside. Well, I'm going to the other side of the apartment. feel like there's much to do in this place. Mm, Alright, let's go in here. Because now we're on. Now we can access floor one. Which we weren't able to access before. Uh. I'm assuming there's something to do here. Let's just explore. Lock is broken. What is this? I got canned juice. Is that everything that's on this floor? Huh, yeah, I guess so. What the fuck does canned juice do? Um, hmm. six pack of canned juice in the hallway on the first floor. 
I don't know what the point of that is. If that's either a key item or it's just a healing item, I don't know. Oh, I think I know what I can use for the canned juice. I, I mean, I don't. Well, apparently I, just... I can use the fire escape key on something. Now, I'm assuming I know where it goes. I could just throw it away in the garbage chute. Oh. I actually did. I actually did found a garbage chute. You know, good idea. Let me try that. Yeah, try to find the garbage chute in the first floor. Mm, I mean, I saw it on the second floor. I'll try it there. Go right ahead. Yeah, let's go to the second floor again. Hey, Jacob. Mm, what's up? Do you want to know how to make spinach delicious? I mean, I don't think spinach is gross or anything. Well, well, there is actually there is actually a re recipe called creamed uh, spinach. Mmm. Yeah, basic. Yeah, basically, it's just uh, spinach uh, with with some, you know, like dairy products, like milk. You could actually mix it up with milk to make it delicious. I mean, I do like creamy pasta. Looks like the garbage stuck in the dust chute has fallen. Oh, look at that. I guess I should go back to the bottom floor then. Yeah, this, is, this game is pretty chill, honestly. I was expecting Silent Hill to be quote-unquote chill, but yeah, here we are. Well, uh, well like I said... Uh, this, literally, this installment is not meant to be scary. It's, uh, it's pretty relaxing, honestly. Alright, what do we have here? The garbage Some people... bag is torn and the contents are strewn all over. I got a coin, old man. The police announced today that Water, Walter, Walter, Walter Sullivan, who was arrested on the 18th of this month for the brutal murder of Billy Locane, and his sister Miriam committed suicide in his jail cell early on the morning of the 22nd. According to the police statement, Foley <laughs> from Monsters, Inc. used a souk spoon to stab himself in the neck, severing his car ca carotid artery. By the time the guard discovered him, Solon was dead from blood loss, the spoon buried two inches in his neck. An old schoolmate of Walter Sullivan's from his hometown of Pleasant River said he didn't look like the type of guy who would kill kids. But I do remember that just before they arrested him, he blurred out all sorts of strange stuff like he's trying to kill me, he's trying to punish me. The monster, the red devil, forgive me, I did it, but it wasn't me. The schoolmate then added, I guess now they think of it, he kind of was crazy. Oh my goodness, that... That was really morbid. Okay, it's just repeating itself. That creamy spinach sounds disgusting. I mean, I I eat uh I eat creamy pasta all the time. It, that shit's good. Like uh bacon carbonara. That's that's some good stuff right there. Well fuck, now I'm hungry. Now I wanna end the stream sooner so I can go make lunch. <laughs> Yeah, same. I haven't even eaten all day. Um... How about the next save point we find, we'll stop, and then we'll call it a day. Alright, sure. So I wanna go make me something to eat. I'm gonna get something to eat. Alright, so where can I go? Um, I'm thinking about buying some spicy chicken nuggets. Oh yeah, spicy chicken. Well, hang on, why, why is the garbage what? chute still uh, circled? Well, the twist is, is that I'm getting buffalo sauced chicken nuggets. Mm, that's pretty good. Oh, well, it is, and I'm getting it with blue cheese. Dang, now I, even, now I want even more. <laughs> um. At this point, oh. we're making ourselves hungry. Yeah, hang on, hang on. There's a door over here. 
I think this is the fire escape exit. There it we is. go. Well, that doesn't look good. There's no fire escape outside the door. Maybe they knocked it down when they built the building next door. I think I can get into the building next door if I th if I go through the window in front of me. You know, you know, Jacob, coming from you, I find it funny that you call this game relaxing. <laughs> even, even there, there's gonna be some other people that will call you odd for saying that. I don't know, that's just what I'm- I mean, mostly just because it's all, like, puzzles right now. That's why it's relaxing. It is. I mean, yeah, sure. I mean, yeah, I'm unsettled, I'm unsettled, but it's still pretty chill. But yeah. but yeah, there is a difference between unsettling and just being scared. Ew, he stuck his hand in the poop. <laughs> it looks like a wallet, there's some kind of memo in it. Uh, okay, that looks like something to screenshot for later. 18, 7, 16, something, something. Numbers. Oh, is it for this safe here? Why do I hear it? Why do I hear a guy puking in the background? <laughs> Oh, that's because I'm playing another cutscene. Oh. Alright, so 18... It wasn't me! I didn't do it! Okay, so... 18... I, didn't do I swear! It was like this when I got here! My, uh... My name's James. James Sunderland. Seven... Really? Sixteen. Who's that dead guy in your kitchen? Nine. There we go. I got handgun bullets. I knew it. So it was Pyramid Head. Oh shit! Pyramid Head mentioned. Yeah, the one scene that we saw, Pyramid Head. I don't have a map of this area. Oh fuck, that's pretty big. It's a pretty big deal. There's no map. There's nothing else interesting. There's some kind of me oh yeah, I already know about the memo in the wallet. Is there anything else in here that I need to know about? I guess this door. Oh, more more freaking gingerbread men. We just can't get enough of those damn gingerbread man, man, that we will love the Christmas spirit. We're only two months left after the holidays. Yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna go in each of these doors. <gasps> can't get the door open. Locked. Oh, I can go in this door. This is the stairs. Oh, hold on, I'm not done on this floor. Uni sauce? Oh shit, hang on, let me look at that. In a sec. I just need to explore the rest of this floor real quick. Why? Well, the music gets very intense. Ooh. Ooh, Buni, Corin, and Yukari. I like that. That's some good shit right there. Now I want to see. <laughs> oh, nice! Thanks, Zeppy. It's locked. 
fucking lock. Okay, so none of these fucking doors work then. Great. Well, looks like you're gonna be lost. For a while, at least. Nah, I just gotta go in, um... Wait, what the fuck? What's in here? Washing machine? I'm probably ahead, again. Nah, I just gotta, I just gotta go up the stairs. Um, still no map. Well, shit. Can I go downstairs? Let's try going downstairs first. Get that out of the way. No. Oh, this door unlocks, though. I mean, you're definitely ahead of me because you found you found that guy puking. Yep. Oh. Actually, how is my health doing? Just try to find the bathroom. Okay, bathroom it is. Oh yeah, I'm not. My health isn't looking too good. There we go. How did you get low health, anyways? Eh, it's just kind of random shit that happens. Oh. Well, that's understandable. Okay, yeah, you know what? I'm getting sick of this combat difficulty already. I really should I really should have lowered it. Well, you should have just listened. Yeah. Because you were... <laughs> Because you were going for a challenge anyways. I mean, I don't know. Silent Challenge in Silent Hill shouldn't really be a thing. There's nothing in the bookshelf that looks like it'd be any of use. Okay. I can understand why you want to challenge. Oh, okay. Well, I think I'm going to stop then for now. Oh, cool. Huh. I thought I would find an axe. No axe? Well, nope. I found my save point, so I think I'm going to call it a day. Because I want to go make something to eat. Well, meh, I'll, sh I'll stop here as well. I mean, you got, your, you got your save states. Yeah, I can save state. Anyways. But hey, Silent Hill 2, pretty fun so far. We're already making decent progress. Since oh, we're so? in, uh, we're, we're already in the first dungeon of the game. Yeah, so far it's been going well. Yep, and I dropped no frames. Hell yeah. Yeah, same. I haven't even dropped any frames either. Very good. All right. Well, uh, the great thing, though, is now that I have um, a better CPU, I could probably render all of these in one night and not split it up into multiple, like, streams. Because I well, think, because what I did with, with like, all of our old series back then is I was split it up into like two hour segments. Like 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 one each little split segment would be like an hour each, but I don't have to do that anymore. So I can just make it the full session. So I can oh. I can get these out a lot quicker. <laughs> oh crap! I actually muted my mic on OBS. Eh, it's not a big deal. Oh well. I'm you, gonna, you I'm, gonna even... I'm gonna be using my my um my audio anyways. Yeah, you don't even use mine's anyways. But hey, I use your I use your audio in like rare circumstances, like if um you know I end the episode early and you're still recording, or uh, yeah. a good example would be like the Silent Hill finale where you were doing your screen, mm -hmm. and so I was showing off the Incubus fight. So there are times where I do use the audio, but it's not too often. I get that. But it is nice to have, just in case, like, something goes wrong on my end, for example. Yeah, but, hey, what can you do? But yeah, um, I... let me know if, you know, you and Zeppi want to stream trash or something, because I'd be down for doing that. Oh, I know. Oh, that would be nice. It's just that I need to add a bit more music if I wanted to make it look more fun. Yeah, I mean, hey, maybe what we could do is we could do, like, a trash stream, like, every few weeks, and we can just, you know, see how the progress is coming along in the mod pack. Oh, that'd be nice, because, <laughs> I, I don't know, 
I don't know if I could be right or wrong, but I feel like mines are are just more fun to, well, you know, get on because literally I feel like my mod pack is much more interesting than yours because cause I'm showing progress. Oh, well, if you mean, like, that, I did technically show progress, because, like, I remember when I started modding, um, like, I think, where was it? Like, if you look from Smash Ultimate part, like, 134 or something, I forget when I started, but I do eventually, like, show progress, like, it's like, here's, uh, here's all my skins, you know? You, you, can, have... you, you can, you can see the progress, it's just, I don't think I showed it that frequently. Well, mines will be shown frequently, anyways. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna go get me something to eat. So you have a good day, man. I'll. Uh, I guess I'll probably see you next also... week. Hey, Jacob. There's something that you should also realize. What? Me and Zeppi don't even just do trash all the time. We do other things. Well, I know you guys do Need for Speed. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, we do. And sometimes, whenever we get bored of uh, trash. Sometimes we just do Fumo racing. Well, at least you could have fun with that, because I got kind of bored of the Fumo racing. Oh, I know. I know. With Same same with Soku, if we ever want an alternative. Yeah. Soku hasn't that... been interesting recently, either. Then after that, I would even show Zeppi some gameplay of Xenosaga. I am actually showing him the entire game. Crazy. <laughs> it is crazy. It's just that I already finished disc one. Yep, time to finish all the discs at this point. Oh, I will. It's... Oh, I will. It's just that I can't wait to finish the trilogy. Hell yeah. All right. Well, yep. I'll uh, I'll see you later, man. I'm gonna go. So probably right, probably man. probably more Silent Hill two next week. Really hope so. And uh, I won't forget about the file that I'm gonna send you. Well, you're still better about sending it than everybody else is. <laughs> what makes you say that? Because everybody takes like a week to send me their footage. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is that that the, the only reason why I'm better in sending videos is because that I haven't even sent you videos that often. Yeah, fair enough. All right, well, just send me your footage and I'll, uh, I'll see how fast I can put this together. Because I got to make a layout and everything. I will. All right, well, see you, man. Adios, bro. Went to go jack off. All right, well, as always, guys, make sure to like and subscribe on YouTube and Twitch. And more Silent Hill 2, uh, hopefully, maybe even twice a week, depending on how fast we want to get this game done. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.